So today we're going to do a little bit different of a video. We actually have an interview, an on-camera interview with PBS. We had a conversation with them a while back about doing a story about Operation Sidekick, a nonprofit program that pairs rescued pit bulls with veterans of PTSD. So we're getting ready to go meet with these guys. We're actually going to interview one of the veterans that we've paired a dog with fairly recently. His name's Greg. We're going to hop over to his house. Uh, so anyway, if you like this kind of video, please do let me know by hitting the like button. It's something a little bit different. So I'm going to see if you like this kind of content. So please let me know if you do. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell for me as well. And let me know what you think about uh, kind of this vlog style that we're doing. Anyway, back to the interview. So we're meeting with a freelance reporter whose name is Todd and he's helping kind of put this story together. So um, the other person that's involved is John. John's the producer with PBS and he's the one putting everything kind of all together to make a probably a four to five minute video about the organization and what we're trying to accomplish with rescuing dogs and training them over an 18 month period to pair with veterans with PTSD. So looking at what that program is all about, some of the problems that we face as a community with PTSD and suicide. Uh, and also the high euthanasia rate of pit bulls too. So I'm not really sure how much of this we're gonna be able to film because again, it's through PBS. It's not through us personally with the YouTube channel. So we're just gonna film as much as we can, do some behind the scenes stuff and uh, see what we can use and just bring you guys along for the ride. So we're gonna head out the door here in just a few minutes. We're gonna go meet Greg and his service dog, Delilah, and then we're gonna do a full on interview afterwards. We're out here with Sidekick Scotty, just filming a little bit for PBS on a segment on Operation Sidekick to talk about how service animals help people, particularly veterans that are struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder. And Scotty's getting a lot of awesome extra practice today. We've had a lot of noise, a lot of traffic, a lot of people in and out. So this is an awesome training segment for her and she's doing it really, really well. She's handling it like a rock star. So, all right, good girl. You ready to keep going? have been trained since day one that look to me rather than your impulse for guidance. So that's all she's doing, checking in. Am I making the right decision? Am I in the right frame of mind? It's so cute because it, it looks like a toddler looking up at mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do we do now? For assurance. Is it? Goodness. Right? Yes. Good girl. That's my girl. Good job. That's my girl, Scotty. And I was just grabbing focus when she looked like she was blurry when she was. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. Yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. We the one. The darkness I rose up Golden my soul, it's a gold rush Yeah, yeah Honor and freedom, my toe stuck. Kicking game on the snare drum. Hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices. Cut it open, emotions. Spilling like oil and coasting. Therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms. Individually, I heard the voices that told us. Yeah, yeah. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us. Yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But young T prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness Greatness, look up in LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us. That only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they all doubt us. Yeah, they doubt us, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, we the ones. Just 
stars turn to men, okay With a little bit of attention deficit Hyperactive disorder, always out of order I never had a chance though, but I would've wished on Every single sad song, never really knowing The moments I was groaning was stoning by the opponent We are on our way over to a more quiet location, one of the parks down here in Pineville so that we can do an in-person interview about Operation Sidekick and the services that we provide and services Scotty provides, but it's just easier to pop down the street here where there's not nearly as much traffic and distractions. Though I have to say I am super proud of Scotty. Her skills are really coming along and she's developing into a, a beautiful sidekick. Good. I'm gonna try to have you on that corner. Kind of like okay. Looking at, uh, do you want her up here or do you want her on the ground? Um, maybe beside you. Okay. Um, beside me, up or down? Up. Up. Okay. Yeah. Scotty, place. Good. Yeah, Scotty, sit. On your... yeah, there you go. Well, it's always been pit bulls, so we can start there. That's the easy part. Vit uh, uh, pit bulls are the most abused, abandoned, neglected, overbred, stereotyped breed class of dog that there are out there. My heart just naturally went out to them. They're so misrepresented, especially as such fantastic companion animals as they naturally are. So it's always been a love for pit bulls. That started very early on for the most part. With the veteran piece, we were looking at some of the awesome things that we could do with some of these dogs that we saw coming through the shelter system that had such fantastic temperaments and personalities. And so we looked at a variety of services, um, but I do come from a military family and after looking into what some of the biggest needs were, it kind of naturally just all clicked together because unfortunately veterans are a population of very underserved individuals when it comes to some of the disabilities that they face after coming home. So the difference between a service dog and a therapy dog is really the number of people served. Service dogs specifically serve one person and specifically tasks that are geared towards helping that one individual. Therapy dogs service multiple people, so they're typically very social animals that want to uh, meet and greet and love on and get loved on by many different people. So think of a therapy dog in hospitals, in schools, things like that, whereas a service dog, it's one person. We want them to bond with one person, follow that person's guidance, and always be tuned in and checked into their needs. No, not every dog will make it. We only pick the best of the best. Um, one obvious reason is pit bulls have a bad rap already, right? So we want the top of the top. Now with that being said, they're dogs. You know, humans don't make it 100% of the time either. We're not perfect, they're not either. I don't expect Scotty here, even when she's fully trained and ready to go, to ever be 100%. Like that's just too much to ask of an, any animal, human or dog. Um, but we also want this to be something that they want as well. If they have the work drive and the ability and the desire to do it, they're gonna be really good at it, right? It's like putting somebody that, you know, wants to be out in the wilderness in a cubicle. Like it just doesn't work, you can't force it. So uh, Letty is one of our dogs right now. She's actually going into therapy work, but she's one of those dogs that's overly social. So it sounds like a bad thing to weed them out, but it's really not. She wants to service many people and that's where she thrives. So we're gonna put her in work with many people where she's really, really good, but that means we have to wash her out as a service dog. So it's not always a bad thing to get washed out. She'll still be of service. She will still be of service, yes, yeah let you love on her before we load up <laughs> once we undress her Scotty right here Scotty nope I didn't ask you to place come here girl Girl. Good. Good girl. There's got to be a lot of pride just in her responding the way she is and knowing that you're part of getting her ready. Um, yes and no. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm always nervous. I'm always worried. I want them to do the best that they can do. So I'm always thinking kind of next step ahead. Like, 
there a little bit, I kept it going a little bit further just to see if she'd keep at it. Just push it a little bit further and see if we can get her even better to that next level. Right, Scotty B? But yeah, it makes, me, it makes me really happy when I get to see them shine doing their thing. What I love is when I'm training a veteran in particular. I was just working with one recently. We placed a dog in Texas and he had all of these different kind of nervous titches that his dog wasn't wasn't familiar with and working with her handler but picked up on really naturally so knew that his anxiety was starting to rise and she would be alerting him like pushing him and like touching him like hey 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 just heads up this is what's going on and he, he just kind of you know shove it off like what are you doing like stop and I'm like no 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 she's trying to tell you something you, you need to listen and pay attention yeah she's got you good girl that's a good girl is that liberty that's liberty yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, good girl, Scotty B. So I get to be a dog every once in a while. We should we should sell your autographs to raise money. You're gonna be in the movie one day. You think so? We'll start with TV. So we're just leaving the park where we had an interview, our full interview with Todd uh, and John from PBS. Actually, some really, really good interview questions. Todd asked a lot of questions that I get from people in general, so I think this is going to be great for getting exposure out there and getting this information out and about. I'm not really sure how much of the interview we're going to be able to use just yet, so if you're already watching this video, chances are you've seen a couple of clips at least, uh, but our hope is, is that we can release the full interview once PBS has aired their special, so we'll get an idea from them, a green light from them as to how much of that we can air, but hopefully we can share the entire interview with you guys. It was about a good 12 to 15 minutes of really good questioning. Scotty did a great job. It was a great training opportunity for her today, so everything went really well. I'm really looking forward to see the, uh, the segment that they put out and the special so really appreciate you guys tagging along and uh, coming along with us on this little little journey to put together something for operation sidekick and exposure